Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and I've been playing quite a few multiplayer indie games in the past couple of days. So today I decided to talk about some of my favorite multiplayer games that are also indie games. So let's get right into it. Starting off with number five, we have The Forest. Now The Forest is kind of like a quasi survival multiplayer and also horror game. It can be quite scary at times. Now even though I don't tend to like horror games, it's not like you know, Resident Evil or something like that. It's more focused on the survival elements. And speaking of the survival elements, I feel like all of the survival mechanics really add to the game. They don't really feel like they were just like slapped on at the end of the development of the game and don't really add anything. Some elements like the hunger and the thirst feel a lot more realistic. It feels like if you were actually on a deserted island with cannibals, it feels less like I'm just filling up a bar and more like, oh crap, I'm hungry or I'm thirsty and I need to actually get food. On top of that, there is an actual story to the game, uh, which is pretty cool. I do recommend that you play it. I'm not gonna say anything about the story. And number four, we have Among Us. Now, ignoring all the memes, Among Us was very fun and still is very fun. I still play it from time to time. I would say the peak of me playing Among Us was definitely in 2020 when the game kind of blew up. But yeah, I think it's something about that genre that I really like. Also, the fact that Among Us is simple. There's another game that I'd played previously before this called Deceit. It's pretty similar to Among Us, but it's a, an actual 3D game, and it's, uh, I would say, a little bit scarier in, in some sense. Among Us is like the cartoon version of it, but it's also very fun. And also what I love about Among Us is you don't really have to have any previous knowledge about the mechanics. If you've never even played a video game before, it doesn't take that long to kind of figure out what's going on and just jump into a game. I haven't tried Among Us VR, but that is definitely on my list. At number three, we have Raft. Now, Raft, like the forest, has a great story, but the main thing that I love about Raft is the base building. It's, it's building up your Raft to be this like humongous mega structure and the type of stuff that people have built uh, has been really cool to look at. It's one of those things where it starts off really slow because you know you have really crappy tools and then you have the shark that's trying to like constantly eat your raft for some reason. But then as you progress through the story, as you get better tools, as you get more materials, your raft gets bigger and bigger and it feels like an actual comfortable place where you'd actually wanna live. I mean, the physics of just having this giant monolithic raft uh, maybe aren't the most realistic, but it's a pretty comfortable place to be and I've built rafts that are, you know, bigger than my entire house. At number two, we have Stick Fight. Now, for Stick Fight, I've actually made a couple of videos on my channel before. I've used gameplay from Stick Fight. What I love about Stick Fight is it's very fun, uh, very simple, and it has great physics. It has a very good weapon variety and map variety. I don't really feel like the game is lacking anything. It feels complete. You know, you can hop on with two friends or four friends, and it's just overall a very good time. Now at number one, we have Gary's Mod. Now Gary's Mod is a classic game. It's been out for, I believe, 18 years, and it is one of the best sold and most popular games on Steam. Gmod is, I would say, my favorite sandbox game besides Minecraft, but basically all of the props from the Source Engine are available for you to spawn, plus things that other people create from the workshop. Gmod probably has the most vibrant Steam Workshop out of any game on Steam. And I love how you could just basically do anything. I mean, with me and my friends, it mostly amounts to just playing around and spawning nukes and, you know, things of that nature. But there's other game modes, there's like Trouble in Terrorist Town and Prop Hunt. I'm pretty sure, uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this is where Prop Hunt originates from. Now, if the multiplayer system still relied on Hamachi like it did years ago, I, this would probably be in my number four position, but they fixed it and now you can just connect through Steam like normal. And yeah, I love Gmod. Uh, it's just as much fun now as it was when I bought it in 2016. It was actually the first game that I bought when I first got my PC. So yeah, out of any of these games, Gmod is definitely the one that I recommend the most. If you have a couple friends, I think it's only like $10 on Steam. And of course, I'll have the links to all of these games in the description if you want to go check them out. So let me know what you thought of my list. Uh, let me know what your favorite multiplayer indie games are down in the comment section below. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.